This video is an amalgamation of 32 different how to draw Valentine's theme videos. And you need to draw a heart basically, like that to start off with. And, uh, and then curl those around like that. Then this is going to be the necks of the swans here. Bring those in so you've got this nice heart shape in the middle and then you've got these two beaks will go down like that and then you want to curl those bits around there then you want to do the, the wings like that the tails like that and then they'll curve up there and you're going to want those bits there good let me draw that in. So these are the, uh, I think they're called the cobs on this one. I think wouldn't have them kind of looking. Sort of shy. <laughs> Not that swans are ever shy. If you've ever been chased by one, which I have, he says bitterly. <laughs> Can be quite scary as well. <laughs> okay, and then you want this kind of wing coming out like that. Put a few more feathers, and that's going to be the tail there, and then. bit of water coming through. Now that part there is actually quite dark and you want little you probably want to paint that in orange though really. So there you go, how to draw swans in love. And today I'm going to show you how to draw the the two intermingled tangle wangled hearts of love. So First of all, you're going to want to draw a heart that's going to be a bit like that. And make it come round in a nice point there. And then it needs to be doubled up. So we're going to kind of draw a line that's pretty equidistant to that one. And then we can have a little bit of a curve like that. And you might want to have one that's just slightly bigger, or you might not. So, so someone's love is deeper and stronger than <laughs> someone else's it's not a competition <laughs> so uh no we need to get this kind of thickness worked out yeah so so this is where it's going to get a bit messy isn't it looking a bit messy already but if you press really really gently with your pencil then you're just kind of putting the graphite on the surface of the paper and it's not going to get ground into the paper so we'll be able to erase it easily later so we'll always press very very gently at this stage now I'm going to start about here and I'm going to draw around and down and then I'm going to draw from here down to there then I can go from here down to there then I can come around here all the time trying to keep as equidistant as possible and I think that's the, the hard part done now this can come down to there this can come to there that's going to come around there and that's going to come around there <laughs> It's all coming around there, isn't it? That comes around there, and this comes around here and down to the bottom. Don't you want a nice point there? It's going to come up and round and down and join there. It's gone a bit wobbly there because I can't quite see over the top of the camera, I'm afraid. So now when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry because you didn't press too hard, you can erase all those pencil lines. And we need to have a bit of shading in here, so I'm going to do these little kind of flicks like that, which means that it starts off with a 
thickish line and then it kind of gets thin to a point as you flick it. I'm going to do the same here and the same around there. And then, I don't know, if you wanted to make it look a bit kind of shiny or something like that, then you could maybe put some kind of shiny, shiny marks in like that. Just gives it a bit of sort of texture and interest. And then, of course, you can shade them in one pink, one red, something like that. And there you go, how to draw the tingle tangled hearts <laughs> of love. If you have secret love things <laughs> and you want to keep them secret, then you can keep them all locked up with your padlock of love. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw very, very gently all around the inside like that to give that kind of metallic kind of edge to it. And then I'm going to start round about there and I'm going to draw up, 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 up and round. And then this is the hasp. Is that what it's called? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I think it's called a hasp. I may well be wrong. And I'm going to put some shading in there. And as I come up, it's going to get thinner and thinner and shorter and shorter until it's just kind of dots and then I'm going to do the same on this side so it'll get sort of thinner and thinner shorter and shorter little strokes until they're just kind of dots around there and then maybe a little shiny bit there to make it look shiny now here we've got to do the keyhole so let's start like that and then flaring out slightly like that to the bottom and again I'm going to do uh, a little kind of an inline, I think we would call that. Just to give it a sort of a sense of thickness. And then I'm going to shade that in. And while I'm doing that, why don't you like this video? <laughs> it really helps this channel. And uh, and why don't you subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every Monday and Thursday. And now we want to put these little kind of bolts. So I'm going to put one there and one there. And I think I'm going to do one about there and there. So we can get a, a kind of a feeling of spreading them about. Um, then I'm going to put one there, one there. It's kind of in the middle. And then one there. So that kind of spreads them out nice and evenly. And then on each one of these, I'm going to draw kind of a little moon shape, fingernail shape, as, as a bit of shadow. Hey, while I'm doing this, did you know I'm running a monthly competition? <laughs> you can send in your photographs of Draw Stuff Real Easy drawings that you've done from my videos, and you could win a copy of my book, Everyone Can Draw, signed with a poster as well. And now I'm going to put some little bits of shading in there, just to make it kind of look like they're round, little sort of round blobby rivets and then I'm going to make it look a bit metallic with these kind of whooshy kind of metal lines like that and then we can make the whole thing look a bit more 3D with some shading to put it on the table so I'm just going to carefully carefully put some shading in there and then also down here following all around the edge of the hole and it just comes around the corner that little bit and we're going to want a little bit here as well aren't we just to go around now as we come around the curve that would just fade out to nothing <laughs> and there you go how to draw a padlock of love the slug of love it's not really a slug it's really a snail and this is the the heart is his um little house on the on his back so what we want to do is to come up here and then we'll bring that around like that. Maybe a little bit shorter actually. I think that might make it a bit more cute. And then we want this to come up into his eyes and then that will come across there. Good. Now let's draw this heart in there like that. And I don't think we want it really dragging on the floor. So we can put a little bit of shininess in there if you like um, and I think I, I'm going to start with a little curve there and we're going to go up and in a little sort of bulbousness there like that come up and a little bit sort of bulbousness again like that 
and then we can come down I think this needs to come just slightly below the heart and then a little curl around there and then we can go like that and then we want eyeballs so draw two circles that are fairly similar well you want them almost identical really don't you and then almost shade them in but leave a little bit of white to run about one o'clock and then we put a little happy smile and maybe we can do something like that and then when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines and I'm going to give him some just little kind of wiggly little patterns like this just to kind of separate him from the heart if you follow what I mean just to make the heart stand up a little bit and I'm not starting right on the line I'm sort of starting just below and just doing these little kind of wiggly wiggly lines just to give it a little bit of texture I suppose to our little happy snail um, and we might want a little bit of shade in there as well I'll put a little bit on this side too I think just to bring the heart forward and I'm going to add a little bit of shade on the heart just these little kind of dotty kind of marks and that can go off into a dot up there like that and then also we could do something like that there I think we could have some kind of, <laughs> kind of marks on there and then uh, we probably need some kind of grass along there so if you watch this far you obviously like drawing so look click down here and make sure you subscribe to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back lots more valentines see there's a whole playlist of valentines uh how to draw valentines things this one's just a little bit of fun today some are a bit more serious some are a bit silly the jigsaw of love and so it's kind of an old, old idea of having a heart that, uh, you know, you split in two and each, each half of a, a loving pair takes their share, their half, and, you know, it will always meet and always join together. So we need to draw this heart, which is going to go around like that, then up a bit and then joining down there. That's coming straight down and that wants to sort of meet there and then we want to do this kind of jigsaw kind of thing so you want to get that kind of jigsaw pattern so it's got to split down the middle as well and you want to get that kind of jigsaw kind of look there and it's usually curved as well isn't it so that wants to come around like that let's see how we go with this let's come down here that wants to come around and back down and around and down to here and down to there just coming around here down and straight across now this will then come around here and then up and just kind of dot away here we want to kind of follow this around like that because they don't quite meat because the saw has come in between hasn't it sort of taking that little piece out and that will come back on that that will come down there and then we want to come all the way around and then that will come down and then across to there and this will come across like that so when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase those pencil lines and uh, we could maybe put a table in the background there and I think we're going to have a little bit of kind of shading on the edge there. We're certainly going to make that much darker in the middle. Uh, that will be there. That will be darker. That will be darker. And that will be darker coming around there like that. I think we might want a bit of shading in there. We could maybe put a little bit of sort of shiny highlight there too. And... I think this is going to be kind of shaded. So I'm going to put a bit of shading where that's going to kind of fade away down there. And then I'm going to put this shading here just to put the whole thing on the table. And look, if you're still watching, then you obviously like drawing. 
And uh, so click down here. There's a subscribe button there, and you will subscribe to draw stuff real easy, and then keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. So there you go. How to draw the jigsaw of love. The power of love, because this is um, Valentine's week when I'm doing it. So I'm going to draw this heart that's kind of slightly on one side, and what it is, it's um, it's like a, a power thing, in a, a, a volume knob. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to make that come slightly around there. So we want a little bit of room there. So it kind of looks also like a chocolate, doesn't it? I suppose. And then we're going to want to have um, our kind of thing. So the knob turns around like that, and that's going to go kind of naught. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven nine ten something like that i think we need to have the word love in the middle as well probably so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here and then i'm going to come straight down there and then down to a point and coming up and around down to there and that will curve slightly down to that point there this will want to be a point but then that's going to kind of dot away into the distance there and this will come around and again kind of dot into the distance and then that will be very definitely there and then you know on those kind of volume knobs you get these kind of knurled edges <laughs> knurled with a k it's a lovely word and um so this is kind of the finger grip kind of edge so sort of very gently carefully kind of put these on there like that and while I'm doing all of these <laughs> why don't you come down here and click that subscribe button and come back for more videos on draw stuff real easy every almost every day I'm doing it at the moment certainly this week there's a new Valentine's idea for a drawing every week every day of the week so I'm gonna put a little kind of a, a highlight there and I'm going to put love, L-O-V-E, like that. And then we're going to want to have this, um, what do we call it? This is the volume control kind of indicator, isn't it? I don't know what you would call this part. I wonder if we have some little bits in between like that. That makes it look a little bit more obvious then rather than just a lot of kind of little lines sticking out in the middle of nowhere and then we'll go zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines I think we're going to need kind of a line coming along there. It's the edge of the control panel kind of thing. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some cross hatching in right on that line of the kind of the point of the heart. But I'm not going to take it all the way to the edge like that. And then we're also going to want a bit of shading on here as well, I think. So I'm just going to put a little bit of shading here, which is going to not put it on the table. It's going to put it on the control desk or whatever you it's going to be called you can color it in red of course if you want maybe kind of make the table another different color and there you go how to draw the power of love real easy well this is a flaming heart kind of thing for valentine's day and it's a kind of a heart is kind of two circles which kind of join together uh in the middle like that but you want a kind of a curve down to the bottom so I'm going to start here and go all the way around like that and then all the way around like that and now come the flames so <laughs> I'm going to start from here and I'm going to do a curve and then this is going to be more of a kind of an S curve like that then this is going to curve back around like that and then that's going to curve back around like that and this is then going to curve and then curve 
into there and you can see these flames it's all about these kind of curves and flick back rounds I'm going to do another one starting around about there and to keep the balance I'm going to keep on that side too so that I know quite what I'm doing and then that will go there that will go there that will go I'm going to go around a bit like that and then flick that up and so this one here will then come around like that and then maybe something like that and uh, now we need another one coming up much more kind of sideways ish and we can again do this kind of curving and then I'm going to make that sort of come out of this curve there and then I think we're going to do two little extra ones on the side which will go up like that and then that will need a short one sort of coming down and then we'll do in up like that and like that and then I think we can add some extra little flicks of flame. These are kind of little licks that are leaving the main body of the flame. Could probably put one in up there, one in up there, maybe one there, and one there too. Now when you are sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase all those pencil lines. And I'm going to make this heart kind of burn by giving it this shading down the side like this maybe curve it around a bit that way and we might want a little bit around there and we, a little bit of highlight there could make it shiny and you could kind of double up the the darkness of the shading by cross hatching all the way down like that and then in this first one here I'm going to put some hatching and these are quite close together and I'm going to make them go further and further apart like that. And then here I'm going to put this kind of like shadow behind the first flame. But at the same time I'm going to make these then go further and further apart like that. And again here. And then I'll make these go kind of further and further apart. So this shadow lets this bit stand forward. And here I'm just going to do shadow getting further and further apart like that now to be able to get the angle right on this side i'm going to turn this upside down so this is quite close together and then i'm going to let the let it get further and further apart same again here quite close together and then i'll let them get further and further apart up there and again here and they can get further apart there. These little flicks can have some little bit of shading in at the bottom. Again, getting further apart, the further you go. And I think we can have a little bit of movement there. A little bit of movement. Just kind of flicking, flaming, <laughs> fluttering movement. And there you go. How to draw a heart on fire real easy. Okay, draw one half of the heart, and then cut back in and out and in and out and down to the point. Then draw something very, very similar. So to bring that point down and then kind of follow the line of that zigzag and come all the way down to the point. And then that gives you the full kind of heart shape with a zigzag down the middle. Now you can give it a bit of shape with some shading around the edge like this and kind of follow around the angle and a little bit more around the top here like that. And all we need to do is colour it in. Here just put a little bit of 
white leave that there and you can do this it doesn't matter what you're coloring in with oil paints watercolors crayons anything you can leave that little space there I happen to be using Copic markers and here you want to draw kind of leave a fingernail of white there and again you can it doesn't matter what you're coloring it in you can do that so how badly was your heart broken <laughs> leave a comment down below <laughs> the mug of love so <laughs> so we're going to draw this kind of heart so there's this kind of weird curve like that and then that wants to go up around and kind of meet back about there and we can draw two lines coming straight down, another one down there. So we're going to copy that curve. That will kind of echo down there, as it were, and that will come up there. And then we want to have a kind of a thickness to this. Uh, it's going to be a china mug, as it were. That will sort of come about there, and then that will come down there. And then we're going to have our, what you're going to have in your mug of love, chocolate, hot chocolate, I think, probably. <laughs> And then we want to have um, a, a handle on the side. That's maybe a bit big, I think. And then that can come down there. The nice thing about sketching out in pencil beforehand is you make your mistakes first. So I am going to draw. I'm going to start about here. And I'm going to come all the way around and then straight down. And then China kind of has slightly soft edges. So I'm not going to give that a really sharp point down there. And then this will come down there like that. And then you're not really using that kind of line. This is this is the edge of the china. So that's going to come around here. I think, oh, it's very fine. It's obviously porcelain. That's going to come around there. And I'm going to dot it as I come around the corners. It kind of fades out. And then maybe a bit there as well. That'll come down there. And then, oh, maybe we've got sort of a little bubble in there as well, like that. And that's our chocolate and then we're going to want to have this will sort of come along here and then it's going to dot away into nothingness and then that can kind of come down there as well let's put that handle in and that will go there like that and that will come around there and there like that now, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, you can erase all those pencil lines. <laughs> and maybe we could put the table in the background, so that's going to come all the way through about there, isn't it? And we're going to want some shading in around there. So I'm doing that slightly curved and there as well. And I think I'm going to put some in there too. And then the, I'm just going to put some kind of Mmm, sort of texture-ish along there. And then here, I'm just going to put a little bit of curved shading in there. And maybe a bit down here as well. And possibly a bit on there. Now, we're certainly going to want some on this handle. So I'm going to do that, and it's going to sort of dot away to nothing. And here... This is going to sort of come up into the underneath of the handle and maybe a bit there too. And all we need is to put a bit of shadow on the table to put it on the table. And while I'm drawing this, if you're still watching, you obviously love drawing, so <laughs> make sure click that subscribe button and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy for lots more videos every week. I'm doing them almost every day at the moment, certainly weekdays. And uh, you're going to learn lots and lots and lots from drawing stuff from Draw Stuff Real Easy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sh extra shading in it, maybe on there. Oh, shall we put some steam in there, some sort of hotness? Steaminess coming out. Okay, and there you go. How to draw the mug of love. Today, well, it's still, while I'm drawing this, there's still kind of love in the air from Valentine's Day. And um, so what I'm going to do, I'm drawing a heart here and then draw these kind of lines coming off and then follow this shape around the back and like that. 
and then you're going to want to write love across the front like that and get that to fit in nicely. You want nice square chunky kind of lettering like that and then you're going to want to kind of draw lines down the middle as well like that. Now to get that kind of stone feeling then we'll start off there I think and then as you come around just a little wiggle okay and a little wiggle every now and then just to kind of break up the edge so it's not smooth to try and give it that kind of stone effect and you can do the same around there like that and then what we're really kind of going to do is to get this kind of 3d stone effect is really in the lettering uh, like it's being carved on a gravestone or something like that and draw lines right around them in the middle of the letters like that down the middle and then you're going to want to put little bits in the corners like that joining up the corners um, and also you'll have them there and in those corners there and those will be there now we're going to have the light where should we have the light coming this away yeah so so we can make that quite dark coming around there that'll be a bit darker there so the light is coming down this way so the top bit there will be dark and the rest will be then that will be dark there so you'll want this side to be dark like that and then that side there to be dark uh, <laughs> you have to put your brain box on when you're doing this and think about it and that will go up there like that and that will be down there and like that and like that I think that's about it and then you just want some kind of marks like that and then we can have it as if it was standing up and it's only if it was standing on the table, put it on the table as I sometimes, well quite often say, you can put some little marks like that. There you go, how to draw a heart of stone. I thought I'd better show you how to mend that broken heart and there's one with a band-aid across the middle and this one is string. Uh, you might find it easier to uh, draw these strings in, in pencil first and erase them afterwards and then you can weave them in underneath each other whereas at the moment I'm just putting kind of one on top of one behind another so um, uh, now these are butterfly stitches my wife is a A&E nurse and she loves doing stitches butterfly stitches are really boring for her she likes getting a needle and stitching people up she's never more happy than when she comes home from work having been stitching somebody especially if it's a really deep one especially one that goes in a corner going around corners is you know that's if you're into stitching people that's the way to do it apparently <laughs> so this is uh, this is parcel tape and these little dots kind of show you know make it kind of transparent so you can kind of see underneath it and oh, there's the uh, broken bit and and then we do good old-fashioned Frankenstein stitches I, I did another video recently that had to draw Frankenstein stitches so you can go and see that a bit of texture to the string and let's color them in uh, that band-aids I'm leaving a little bit of white on the top of the kind of the pad bit there to, to make it look shiny and stand out and with these uh, sellotape things where they cross over making them just slightly darker uh, with the hearts leave a little bit of light there to, to make them shine and then doing the same on that one and I'm covering in the string, 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 bits of shadow and where they cross over. And again, they leave little bits of hints of white on the red to uh, to make it look shiny, nice shiny heart. And the same thing there, it's just kind of a little fingernail up at the top uh, right hand corner. And same thing again here. So how did you mend your broken heart, hey? Uh, uh, there's a question for you. Sailor tattoo. All the sailors love their moms. Draw a kind of a, a, a curve like that. 
and then go in on the sides and then bring it around like that again so that will go around behind and then you're going to have these tails the banner tails kind of going like that okay and then you want to write m o m and you want thick 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 on the sides of the o and thin at the top now draw that curve first and then draw in the top of the heart a little bit of shininess there and then around like that then that will curl in right put some shading coming in around the back coming in around the back there I'm going to erase those pencil lines just so I get a clear view and then it's lots of shading and I'm going to give add some cross hatching to add some depth to the shading and maybe a little bit more going crossing the other direction again and a bit round here just to give curve if you really want to color in that heart there you go and if you really do love your mum don't cover yourself in tattoos i've been working hard to make this as easy to draw as possible because a rose is not easy so draw a circle like that well this is kind of the basis of what we're trying to do a little point like that so it's kind of like a teardrop and then i want you to start round about there just outside the circle part there and draw a what is that a fingernail shape isn't it really and then i'm going to come from the bottom of the circle and we're going to come up there like that now here i'm going to do another kind of fingernail like that and inside there another little kind of fingernail like that and then i'm going to draw this kind of flat spiral inside and then another little bit around the top so this is all a little complicated now we need to draw a little curve there and a curve just going up there like that and what's going to happen is that we're going to have the kind of the petal coming around there and then this will be coming around there like that then we can draw the plump base part of this flower in like that now we've got the sepals which are going to be kind of something like this so these are little like little pennants little sort of flags going off like that and they'll need a line down the middle and we're going to see the oh whatever it's called you know the bottom part of the rose there like that and then we're going to want the stem coming out from it and then i'm going to draw a leaf coming out there and a leaf coming out there and i'm going to draw in a thorn now it's an interesting thing about thorns on roses that someone on the internet first drew a rose and I think they did a how to draw a rose video and they showed the thorns facing the wrong way and if you look at lots and lots and lots of drawings on the internet of roses you will find all the thorns are facing the wrong way um, and roses thorns point downwards now if we've got the leaf there then what we want is to have a curve going that way and a curve going that way a curve going that way and a curve going that way and then roses have slightly jagged edges so up down up down up like that up down up down up down let's just have a rose's leaf so are just slightly jagged on the edge I'm sure you'll find some varieties that are not like that, but that's generally they're like that. So then draw lines down the middle, the ribs, and then we want that, 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 that. And then while I'm filling in these little bits here, I'm sure you love drawing, <laughs> which is why you are here. So subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easily and keep coming back every Monday and Thursday for lots more 
how to draw videos. Now we're going to want some serious shadow underneath there. And I think before I do any more shading, I'm going to erase those pencil lines, having made sure that the ink is completely dry. <laughs> so we want some shadow there on the sepals. We're going to want some shadow coming underneath there and underneath there too. And I think we're going to need some shadow around the bottom to give it a bit of plumpness like that. We're definitely going to need some shadow in there. I think maybe a little in there too, certainly some in there. I think we're going to want some shadow there too. And probably just little bits just sort of in there like that. And you can colour in that rose red and the stem in green. And there you are, how to draw a rose real easy. Hey Shibi Doodlers, I'm going to show you how to draw a cake, a, a heart cake, kind of a a Valentine special cake. So if you draw a heart very gently, um, then it's going to have kind of chocolate chips or currants or something like that in it. And the reason I've drawn it in pencil is because then you can draw some of these bits kind of over the edge of the line like that. And these are all sort of crunchy bits of choc chip or whatever. And then you can make this line a little bit crumbly like that because a cake is never quite a perfect straight line, is it? So we've got this nice crumbly line like that. Now, what you need to do is to draw a line coming down there. So it's kind of like a cupcake. And this is the cupcake um, casing. That's the word I'm looking for. And then that's going to be slightly curved there as well. And then we're going to want these lines. Actually, to draw that one coming straight down. And that would be straight down the middle of it so we can get the angles by doing this and then you just kind of split those lines and that gives us all the angles in the right places and then we can just split there but don't go all the way to the bottom because the cupcake thing is kind of folded up like that when you're sure the ink is dry you can erase the pencil lines and I'm going to put loads and loads and loads and loads of dots on the top of this to give it some cakey texture and while I'm doing this why don't you click that like button uh, because it really does help the draw stuff real easy channel if you do uh, like this video and if you're not why don't you subscribe to draw stuff real easy and then you'll always get to know what videos i'm doing every monday and thursday and i know i started doing some on saturdays as well much much easier ones and why don't you uh, <laughs> if you're going to draw this why don't you send a copy of it to me and uh, follow the links to my monthly drawing competition where you can win a copy of my book, Everyone Can Draw. Now that's all kind of covered, so I'm going to make it a little bit darker on this side by putting some more dots in all around here. And this is a, a shading technique called stippling. So it gives it a, a, a kind of a texture, it gives it a cakey kind of texture, but then by putting more dots in on this side, it also gives it uh, a shade so it kind of makes it look darker on this side and it's very very boring <laughs> but uh, if you take your time just put lots and lots and lots of dots in it gives that really good kind of 3d effect we can maybe put some in up there too and i think we can put some in to shade in around the the little chocolate chip bits or well, they might be blueberries and then you're going to want to shade in your chocolate chip bits and I'm going to draw them quite darkly on one side but then kind of leaving a little bit of light up at the top as, as to make them kind of look shiny like that. So it's kind of very close, uh, close together kind of scribbling really, isn't it? <laughs> Hatching is the proper word. And then we're probably going to get a bit of shadow underneath here. So I'm just going to draw that shadow in down there. And we'll maybe have a bit of shadow in down there. And then we can put it on the table like that. And we can draw some shadow all the way around it to put it on the table. And maybe you could cross hatch. If you, if you draw it once, that's hatching. Draw it twice, that's cross hatching because you're crossing over the hatching. And you can do it three times as well in a completely different direction as well if you like, just to make it look even darker. 
and you can even go up and down <laughs> to make it look darker still. And there you go, how to draw a heart-shaped muffin. Hey Shooby Doodlers, I'm going to show you how to draw the teddy bear of love. And I'm drawing this really, really gently with my pencil because that makes it easier to erase later. And you want to draw a little circle there, that's going to be his paw. And then you're going to want to draw a big kind of circle there, that's going to be his feet paws as it were. And then we're going to want to have a big kind of circle there and ears like that. So what we want to do is draw like that around there and then we can draw that heart now here we can go around just slightly short and then we can draw the top of the heart there like that then we're going to want to draw his feet nice big round feet like that and those are the kind of the pads of his feet like that. And we're just going to draw some kind of stitches like that to make his paws on his feet. And then we can draw in the rest of the heart. Like that. We can then also put little paws in there as well if you want. Now we've got a kind of a pattern on here, so we're going to go around there and around in a little circle and down, around in a little circle and down. And we're going to draw a kind of semicircle there with his nose is a semicircle. Draw another little semicircle and shade it in, leaving that bit as a shiny bit. Draw down a little curve like that and that's going to be his sort of happy smiley face and then we want sort of two big eyes above there so two circles for the eyes draw circles inside and then draw kind of semicircle there and then shade that all in and that will give you a nice shiny eyeball a real teddy bear kind of eyeball and then we're going to want to draw the ear bits like that. Then when you're sure the ink is dry, you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will ever know how you planned it out. And if you want to be really clever, you can put some extra little kind of bits of shading in there like that to make his eyes look glossier. And we can put a bit of shading in around there and in his ears. Maybe just a bit there. And then I think we will need a bit of shading down the side of the heart there. And there. And just where his hands and feet are kind of hiding the heart. Then you can draw a line behind there to kind of give him a table to sit on. And then a bit of shading will put him on the table. Then all you need is to colour in your heart and I'm going to put a little bit of sort of shininess there and shininess there too and I know someone's going to ask I'm using a Copic Chow marker called Lipstick Red R29 and colour the whole thing in and there you are how to draw the teddy bear of <coughs> love okay we're going to need a bit of planning so you want to work out where this whole thing is going to go so I'm going to draw in kind of where the heart is going to be. It'll be a bit like that. Maybe a bit shallower. I don't know. Anyway, so um, if we sort of think that's going to be about, uh, let's have the bottom of a circle about there. So draw a circle, well, pretty much in the middle, isn't it? Like that. And draw very, very gently because we are going to erase these lines a bit later. So that is the circle. And what we want to do is draw a line across the middle again, very, very gently. <laughs> if you draw very gently, you can erase the lines later. Half the distance from there, draw another line. Again, half the distance, draw another line. And so that kind of distance here from there to there, draw, and I've already drawn it by mistake. OK, so that's another line we want underneath there. This is going to come around here and it's going to kind of do a little wobble in there like that. And then we want to bring it 
around and kind of quite flat down to the bottom and up there so we've got this coming around there and in and out there then we're going to have the ears will be coming quite big kind of like that where's my pen while i go look for my pen click down here and make sure you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back every week for lots more how to draw videos now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a curve across the top and then i'm going to come in a little bit like that it's a bit sort of snaky and then i'm going to draw down and then up to this kind of line to the edge of the circle and then a little kind of hook at the top and then on this side i'm going to do something similar a little bit out kind of like that but then i'm going to bring that up a bit shallower so we've got a gap in between here and that's going to come up there and then we can follow this line so in curve and then around to that bottom line underneath the circle and bring it curved up there and then we're going to want to have that's going to be the inside part of the ear like in there which you can make quite dark and we're going to you can put a bit of shadow in there as well so what we are going to do is there's the bottom of the circle there's that line there we're going to build our nose around that point okay so draw an oval like that and then a little line coming down and then a tiny little curve and a tiny little smiley mouth okay because it's just a puppy here put a circle in there and then you can shade in the rest of the nose and that will make it look really nice and shiny then the eyes we want quite far apart and centered over this line here so i'm going to put the eye there and the eye there and in the middle we're going to put an eyeball which is almost shaded in but we leave a little bit shininess at the top there and then maybe little eyebrows like that and then we're going to want to have huge great paws sticking over the top and they're going to be going like that so i'm going to draw around like that and then around like that and then i'm going to draw one two one and two so there's a really easy pause <laughs> okay now we've got this little point of the heart and so then i'm going to follow that up through there and i'm going to follow that up through there and then i'm going to follow the line of the heart all the way around follow that up all the way around like that when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase the pencil lines nice and easily because you didn't press too hard did you <laughs> Now we're going to probably want to see a little bit of body in there like that. And we're going to make this um, a bit more obvious by kind of following all the way around the outside, outside, coming down there like that. And then all the way around and down like that. And then I'm going to shade this in quite dark like that. And then I'm going to shade that quite dark there too and that bit there quite dark too and as I come up here I'm going to make my shading lines get further and further apart until they just become like dots and I'm going to do the same here so they get further and further apart and almost like dots so it kind of sh shades and fades out like that um, I think I'm also going to do a little bit of shading in there very gently and maybe a little bit just behind here like that as well maybe a bit in there maybe a bit in there and once you start shading you can't stop really so <laughs> what i'm going to do is go ping like that and ping and ping so it's pointing sort of down to the nose basically we want these kind of things coming in like that little puppy love kind of things and there you go how to draw puppy love for valentine's day to draw a mug of love. A mug of love, what is that all about? Okay, we're gonna start up at the top with an ellipse. Okay, it's just a mug that says I love you on it. Okay, so, and then um, we're going to draw like an inside almost ellipse and that can just fade away into little dots at the top. 
and then we're going to come straight down and straight down and then we're going to join those two at the bottom with a curve and we want another curve up there so that's the actual I don't know tea coffee love potion I don't know and then we need a handle as well so draw the handle and a little blob at the bottom like that and that can come around and down there and then you might find it easy to draw little curves like that and so maybe one there and one there and that'll give you something to work to so we're going to want to have I so get the thickness that you want and then we want these little blobby bits like that so these are called serifs and then we want to have a heart I heart you and I think this whole I heart thing started with New York I think it was I heart NY I think that's what started it and they chose this typeface which had this um, style to it and it's like an old typewriter style a very old-fashioned so get the thickness you want and then put those little blobby bits on there which are going to be the serifs and I don't think this is going to fit so I'm going to do a small O <laughs> I'm going to go to lowercase now and let's draw a U it's going to come around there and we'll make that a thickness like that and then we'll put a little serif in there too then if you've done the pencil trick when you are sure that the ink is dry, wait a little bit <laughs> and then erase those pencil lines and no one will know how you got it so accurate. And we can maybe put a little bit of shadow in there and two little bits like that will give you some shadow inside as well. And you could maybe have some steam coming off as well like that. All you need to do now is colour it in. To draw a love letter, we need to draw a rectangle. So let's do that. That comes down there and then we go across like that. And we are going to seal this love letter with a heart like that across the middle. And then let's put a little bit of shininess in there like that. And then we get the top bit. This is the bit that sort of folds down you lick and stick it and then this is the bit that's sort of underneath it like that so you want to have that coming there don't quite get it all the way to the ends like that and then maybe you could seal it with a kiss <laughs> and then all you have to do is color it in to draw a rainbow heart let's start by drawing a heart get a nice heart shape like that and then we want to come along to about there and we're going to go all the way around it like that so we've got a nice line across the bottom and then so that's number one which means that when we go one around the top like that that's our first color so then we can go two and three and four and five and six and I'm only going to do six because I think indigo and purple are quite similar and it's just a lot easier to fit in six than it is seven. And this is draw stuff real easy. All you have to do now is to color it in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. To draw a fancy lacy heart, we want to start, of course, by drawing a heart. So we'll come around like that, down and join at the bottom. And then we need to draw little curves all the way around. And this 
can possibly get a little bit boring, but you just have to keep going. I think that's one of the good things about drawing is it teaches you to just keep going and not give up. And I think that's the best way to do it. Just keep going. So that's that's the frilly edge. But we need to make it a bit lacy. And this could possibly get a bit boring too. Because you need to do about four little, three or four little dots inside each one of these curves. And the more you rush it, the probably the worse it looks. So you really need to take your time a little bit. But if you're making a card a valentine card for someone you love then you won't mind just taking your time because you'll be going oh i'm in love <laughs> and so you won't really mind taking your time and there we go and we're nearly at the top and it's amazing how these little dots just kind of make all that difference, isn't it? And they give it that kind of frilliness, a bit of pattern and decoration to the whole thing. And then you might like to put a little bit of sort of shininess in there like that. And there you go, how to draw a lacy heart. Now to start these lovebirds, we need to draw a heart and I'm going to start on the right hand side because I find that the hardest one to do and then I can try and copy it on that side so that we get a nice heart shape <laughs> now we're going to turn this into a pair of lovebirds and we'll follow that around into a nice little curl and then that will be sort of curling around like that as well and there kind of oh, they're all lovey-dovey and then we want their beaks like that and then we're going to draw a curve down there that's their back and that's the back and then we want to draw the wings coming in like that and it's not exactly feathers but it gives a feeling for feathers like that and then we'll have them sort of sitting on a branch like that a line going through and a couple of leaves on the end so that you know that it's a branch and that is how you draw a pair of lovebirds for valentine's day to draw a pair of love cats you're going to need a circle and it's just easiest if you draw in pencil a circle beforehand you can use a compass anything round circular and we're going to want to ha get a kind of a, a cat tail shape so i'm just doing this very very gently to work out where i am i'm going to line down the middle and then this is going to want to come up like that and that's going to want to come up like that um, and in fact let's have them coming around like that and around like that so it's not easy is it like that so we are going to start off here by drawing an ear and an ear a, a, two different cats and we can draw a line all the way down to the bottom and then that's going to come around there and we can follow that circle all the way around and we can follow this circle all the way around and bring that again up there like that and again we're going to follow this circle so this is the tail of one of the cats and stop there and then we're going to come all the way around this way and stop there now we're going to draw the top of the heads like that and another ear and another ear and then that's kind of the head shape and that's the shoulders and then we want the body like that can you see the cats now <laughs> this is where it gets tricky so we want to bring that up to there and that's going to come around in a curve this will come like it's coming underneath 
and around like that and then this will come around like that so they've got their tails all tangled up in love <laughs> and we'll give them some whiskers like that and we could give them some stripes as well couldn't we so we can put stripes like that and stripes across their bodies like that and then we'll maybe give them slightly different colors when we come to coloring them and then we'll want stripes on their tails too all the way around there and all the way around And we could just help it by putting some extra little hearts in there. And then here's the secret. When you're absolutely sure the ink is dry, erase those pencil lines and no one will know how you did it so accurately and beautifully. Then all you need to do is colour it in. To draw a love letter, we need to start off with a rectangle, which is kind of like the envelope. And that's going to come up like that, maybe a bit higher. And then envelopes on the back, they're kind of folded over. And we're going to want to have a kind of a thing like that. Uh, and then another one going across there and coming back down there like that. Okay, now we fill it full of love. love. Uh, and we need to have hearts sort of popping out. So we don't see the sharp pointy bit of the heart at the bottom because that's sort of inside. And it's like you've opened up a letter and all these hearts are popping out. Um, let's start one there like that. That might come around there and maybe one more like that and then we're going to want to draw the top bit of the envelope which is the bit that you lick and stick and that's going to come around like that and use the point of your pen and then you can draw that's the kind of the licky sticky bit and let's make these a little bit shiny as well so we put these little kind of sausages of sausages of light <laughs> in there like that. And there, then they'll be kind of reflecting. Then all you need to do is color it in. Maybe it's a pink envelope. I think a love potion needs a very special kind of bottle, don't you? So let's start with the top at the top. It's like a little sausage. And um, this is the neck of the jar or the bottle. So it's coming down there. And then we want to come around and down into a heart shape. So that's going to come in a point down there. And around and down into a point shape. It's quite difficult to get them the same each side, isn't it? And then we're going to do another kind of sausage at the bottom and maybe a little curve, which is going to be the stand. Now we want to draw an inline like that and another inline. That's what we call that sort of when we step just to one side of a line and follow it around. It's an inline. So this is going to be the love potion that's going to make you it's going to make you fall in love or it's going to make somebody fall in love with you. Which do you want? <laughs> and then we want to sort of carry that around there a little bit. And as we come around the corner, just dot that away and then it kind of just disappears. And then we kind of want to have the thickness of the glass that you can see in there. And we're going to have a cork. So that's just slightly wider at the top there. And that sort of goes in like that. And corks have little funny patterns on them like that, don't they? And I think we need a bit of shininess there just to make it look shiny. I think we can probably do a little bit of something like that on the bottom as well. It's going to make that just slightly wider. And that's how you draw a love potion bottle. To draw a rainbow heart, we're going to start by drawing a heart. So you come up and around and down and up 
and around and down and join up at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is to put in the shiny bits first. So put a little shiny bit there and a shiny bit like that. We're only going to use six colours. Okay, because the purple and indigo are kind of the same. And it's much easier to sort it out if we just do like a curve in the middle across there. Then you only need to do two on each side. Otherwise it gets more difficult to plan it out. So let's do a curve like that. That comes across that stop when you get the shiny bit and then carry on on the other side. And then here we'll do a similar thing like that. And then we want the same thickness going across there and across there. Then all you need to do is to colour it in. Red, orange, green, blue and purple. To draw a pair of heart-shaped spectacles, glasses, sunglasses, we're going to start off with two hearts. So there's one like that and then the next one wants to mm, well tilt a little bit I suppose like that so they want to be quite close together as well like that and then we're going to go around the outside which is not easy keeping it all same size and now we want a little bridge across there because that's what you do with spectacles isn't it and then we're going to come around like that and around the top like that and then a bridge across and then we'll come down to there so sometimes say when people are in love let's put a little bit of shininess in there <laughs> they've got rose tinted spectacles on so we can sort of probably color these in pink can't we uh, a rose color so that's to go over one ear and then that's to go over the other ear the rose-tinted spectacles of love. <laughs> Hi there. Now to draw a pair of cherries in love or ugh, cherries, heart cherries. Anyway, let's start with these two curves like that joined at the top. And then we're going to draw a couple of hearts. So these are like the cherries. And we'll draw another one like that. And then we draw some a pair of leaves on the top so two more curves and then we want to come out like that and around and we come around like that and then we come in like that and then we can put some veins in on the leaves of the cherries like that and then finally to make it look nice and shiny put little um, blobs there so these are reflections of the sunlight on the cherries I think I'm going to call them sweetheart cherries to draw a cute little cupid of love uh, let's start by drawing his chin like that so we're going to draw it's just a u-shape like that and then we want some curly hair so that looks like clouds on the top doesn't it and then we want to have the curly hair all the way around like that. And then the eyes, all you need to do is to draw two little buttons like that with eyebrows and then a little for the nose and then a little, oh, it's kind of a slice of lemon, isn't it, for the mouth like that. And now we need to draw the wings. So we're going to draw a kind of an s shape like that so it's on the side isn't it snaky s shape and another one going up and along and up a little bit like that and then what you want to do is to come up and around and then kind of do these little feathery ends like that so here we're going to go up and around and then we want to do one two three we want to try and make them look the same as much as possible <laughs> which is not easy now we're going to draw little winglet bits in there like that so there's quite small little wings feathers I should say like that and then we want to have some feathers like that so we're going one two three four and then maybe a couple more in there 
just to finish it off. And then we can maybe put some little bits extra into his hair. And that's how you draw a cherub of love. Thanks for watching and subscribing so you can come back to Draw Stuff Real Easy and do lots more drawings. Bye. <laughs>